Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope that all of you are feeling okay. We're gonna make a running light to our LEDs. There are three digital outputs connected on our controller. So let's start declaring the variable. So we declare only one variable for three digital outputs. All right, first int. Int means integer. So x, I will make it x. And I will not declare any value since that this x variable is used for the three uh, digital outputs. So the second variable that we're gonna declare is the integer for the timer. So we need to declare the timer uh, in order for us to easily adjust the behavior of the running lights. Okay, so I will set this to 500. 500 means uh, 500 milliseconds for uh, the timing or the, the delay. So, the next is, let's go to initialize our program. Okay, so please follow guys. First is, I'm gonna declare the serial that begin. This is the standard uh, format of this editor. So, serial that begin, and then the vote rate, rate of 9600. Alright, so next, let's start with the loop. To initialize this, we have to set one variable into three digital outputs all right so for x is equals to five x is less than eight semicolon and x plus plus or you can use also plus equals one for assignment operator but uh, to make it uh, easier and simple uh, parameter we gonna use x plus plus that means uh, it's added one at a time all right so uh, curly bracket and then inside this loop this initialization is the pin mode so remember pin mode capital M is the X variable what we need is output so all uh, are capitalized right so output Capitalize pin mode M is capitalized, all right? Serial uh, is capitalized, serial that begin, all right? So the next is so we're done to initialize our variable for the three uh, uh, three digital outputs. So I will explain to you later why this is five, which is the start of our uh, digital outputs from five to seven, but why this is eight, I'm gonna explain to you later. Right. So the next is, let's go to the function or the loop. Okay. So here we're gonna declare again, or we're gonna uh, write also another uh, for loop here for the function inside the void loop. So for x is equals to five, and then x is less than eight. And then x I am using here plus or equals to 1 but uh, uh, do not confuse about this because they are just the same parameter so this is only using this operator but this one is incremental operator it's the double plus so they will give the same output so give plus 1 at a time every execution so x plus plus this one is assignment operator which is x plus equals one so it's added one at a time all right so the next for the this parameter is the curly bracket all right i will put it here curly bracket and uh, i will run the digital right so remember w is capitalized uh, digital right and then what we need here is high or the turn on the light which is the value of one right so the next is we get a delay what is our delay here is our timer which is from here so we will take this variable and we put it here inside the delay and the value of this delay is 500 milliseconds but later we can adjust this uh, depends on our desired behavior for the running light of the LEDs, right? So, timer for the delay. Alright, 
and then what we need the next for next is the digital right is x and low so the same capitalize right so I will put a delay here for the timer that we can adjust this uh, later depends on the behavior of our li running light okay so now we're done with our uh, simple code so I hope that uh, you can get to understand the loop function the in initialization and the main loop here the loop all right so the what is the concept of this uh, one variable into three uh, uh, running light or the three digital output for the running light all right uh, I will give example for our uh, C code so the right the idea of the C code for loop is uh, the value for example of 5 so starting from 5 6 7 so it's supposed to be 7 because our digital output is until 7 because we only have 3 LEDs from digital output number 5 6 and 7 but uh, the rule of for loop is starting 5 and it ends with uh, the or the beyond the last value so it ends beyond the last value so for example if the if you uh, gonna end to seven so for example if you put only seven the output of this is only five and six so since that uh, we are using five six and seven for the digital output we should use number eight as the value beyond number seven all right so do you understand students so i hope that uh, you can get the point here so if i'm gonna run this this will give us a result of five six and seven all right so to accommodate the three digital output we should put eight so x is equals to five x is equals to uh, equals to x which is the value of x is five here and then x is less than 8 and then increment by 1 all right so when i try to run this we are given the result of all right the result of 5 6 and 7 all right so that that is the reason why we need to use 8 with our loop all right so why we need to, to use this 8 because the rule is uh for loop will start at the beginning and uh and beyond the last value which is this one is the last value uh, the last value this would end beyond this uh, after the last value all right so five uh, six and seven so what is beyond seven is number eight so that is why we take the eight and put for here so that uh, all the digital out outputs will be occupied by the x variable right so if we use only five to seven exactly the number of the digital outputs the light is only until five and six all right so anyway let's try and that later so then important here is you understand how for loop works with not only with the other programs but the, in this a real uh, device that we use in our robotics programming right can uh, clearly understand the uh, program all right so uh, now that uh, we are ready so i just uh, want to uh, upload this code and try to see if it is uh, running okay so now that our code is ready I want you to make sure that uh, the port is correct so you you have with our, the right port with your uh, connection okay so just go to tools and then check the port if it is uh, 
uh, connected to the right port so make sure that the port is not COM1 so COM1 is not allowed to use so if uh, when you hover this uh, this one uh, there might be two or three port uh, appears so choose the rest except COM1 right so do not use COM1 do not use COM1 so use another port right so you can see I have a lot of ports appear here because I installed uh, some devices so uh, I have how many ports there are many right so uh, yours I'm sure there are two I think two so you choose the other one except com one right so I'm ready so first I gonna uh, debug first so how to debug your program before uploading it to your controller so you go here you check the code if it's really already perfect so just click it and then this will pop up so just click X and now it's running the debugging right. go 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 all right here you can see it's done compiling that means the debugging is done and this is ready to upload okay so how to upload your code to the controller so let's go here and click this right so click it there's another pop-up because uh, we haven't saved it yet so it's normal so just click X and then this will uh, progress bar and then still loading and then here it's done so you can see our device now we have a running light okay so it's you can see the behavior is quite uh, slower right but uh, uh, my question is what LED the light start or the light started so the LED which uh, the light started is the green LED so why the green LED because this is positive operation so uh, the activity that I gonna give you is I want you to uh, make the light the LED starts with the red color or the red LED okay but uh, in this uh, example program we're gonna change the value of the timer so that uh, it's quite faster so if I will change this to 300 upload it again so it's the behavior is right it's kind of changing right make it faster so I will reduce the light to the running light delay for the timer to 200 load all right so it's better so it's like still the all right I can remove this delay here I'm gonna remove this one load it again all right it's quite good okay